Folks, one of the topics on this channel I've hit a lot over the last year or so is the bifurcated market, right? Simply draw a line in the sand in your market, median price and below on fire, median price and above slower. And the higher you, the farther away from median you get, the slower it is. Let's actually flip that over and talk about the lending market. We've got the boys from Convoy Home Loans. They are in Southern California and they are seeing a clear bifurcation in the market. Now realize their market is SoCal. So when they talk median, they, they're talking about, in this example, $2 million and below and $2 million and above. But this is something you should be working on with your lenders across the country because I think the loss of regional banks and the ripples are just starting. There are many, many more to come. So guys, what are you seeing in the market below $2 million and above? Because it's kind of stark difference. Yeah, the, no, there, there's uh, the line just getting bigger in terms of being drawn in the sand between the two million and up, which we'll call from most lending partners that we have is luxury, okay, mm -hmm. and below. So, for example, the biggest thing we're seeing is that terms and like leverage on deals that are less than two million are getting better. For example, mm -hmm. we're doing like twenty percent down on a two to four unit all day now, whereas a month ago it was 25% down or on um for example like portfolio loans we used to have to have like five properties to get a portfolio and the bank didn't want to touch them unless it was five now they're okay with just doing two properties okay so they're really trying to get as much business as they can and making it easier for the clients that are seeking loan amounts less than 2 mil but on the flip side Anything above two mil, like John and I have a lot of deals that are above two mil right now that are getting almost killed to a certain degree, 15, 20 days into the underwriting process because the banks are, you know, underwriting will come back to us and say, oh, the offer that we had at 75%, we want to do 65 now, take it or leave mm. it. Leaving people that, you know, on a $5 million, $10 million deal, it's like all of a sudden, you know, he thinks he's getting his new home and it's like, well, you got to put an extra million down or oh. walk away. Sorry. So it's, it's a big, um, it's a big problem that I guess for us, maybe we're seeing more of cause we are in SoCal, but it's good to know for most investors that, Hey, like rates are going up, but, but the players that are still lending on the 2 million and under are going to make it easier for investors oh, to yeah. leverage and getting them in the deal. Yeah, and, and something that we've seen under $2 million right now that's kind of come back and, and is coming back in a strong way. I mean, the last video we talked about 30-year bridge, but um, we are now able to do like ARV, even if you are using another hard money lender or whatever to, to buy the deal, we can do an ARV, like after repair value, um, refi cash out up to 75% after three months. It used to be three months at 70% and six months at 75 to 80. But now we can do three months at 75, right? But that's obviously under 2 million, um, two to four unit or one to four unit that we're talking about. But um, that's the space that's getting a little, surprisingly a little looser for us. And um, the ultra luxury properties are just getting tighter and tighter. You know, clients are just, I mean, I don't know how many people can just go around, turn, say, oh, I need to put an extra million down, million and a half, no problem. Let me just do that, right? That's not yeah. That's not like a normal thing right now with cash. Yeah. Yeah. I, I am curious, uh, staying in the ultra luxury, right? Two million above, is it per home purchases and refi, same thing? Or are refis maybe easier or what? what's going on? Purchase versus no, refi. It's, uh, it's across the board with purchases, uh, refi, cash out and like, a perfect example that um, I can kind of maybe make it easier for the listener to understand is like on all of our, most of the, the loans that we'll sell, let's say on DSCR loans, mm -hmm. okay, to our partners on Wall Street. If you have a property that's that's uh, less than one on the DSCR ratio, so it's not cash flowing, right? Maybe it's at 0.9. Right. If it's below 2 million, you're going to get hit with like a 0.75 additional cost yeah. the 0. 0.75 in points and closing costs yep. if that loan's above two mil right now they're putting this at 2.6 oh yeah so you got a you know two million dollar loan and now all of a sudden the Ouch. dsgr goes at you know 0. 0.95 well sorry here's an extra 50 grand in closing costs you gotta pay 
Whereas, you know, the, the million dollar guy, not to say that that's smaller or anything, right? Yeah. He's paying the six or seven. Yeah, I think there's a couple of things going on. And I think this will happen around the country is again, folks, uh, there's going to be a sweet po- sweet spot in your market where lending is, is a little bit easier. That will be again, below the median or below some price point, in this case, 2 million. But there will also be, I think there will be opportunity. Now, this is not a place where most people should play. But if you want to get super aggressive and flexible and you have the stroke, there will be some great luxury deals done because luxury properties sometimes have to get sold too. And you know maybe you get a two, three, four million dollar discount because you can do it. So I suspect there will be some luxury properties that we read about in the newspaper that took a 40% haircut list to sale price. Uh, again, when lending gets tough, the deals get better. When people want to reach out to you guys to see if you can help them, where we send them? Go to convoyhomeloans.com and let us know you came for more at. Thanks, guys. And again, thank you for all the help. I'm getting notes almost every month now that you guys are just great to work with. So for me to you, thank you so much. Thank yeah, you. Thank you, guys.